Miss Simrino. If you are returning to the channel, welcome back. And if you are brand new, I am extremely excited that you decided to join me here today for another speed build and a very special speed build because this is for the infamous Smith family. If you guys have been playing The Sims since, you know, forever, since its inception, uh, like I have, you are very, very aware of who the Smith family is and kind of where they hailed from and what their story is. So I was so excited because when we got Strangerville, everyone immediately who had familiarity with The Sims probably thought of Strangetown, right? And in Strangetown, there was such in-depth storylines for a bunch of different families who all knew each other, whether they had rivalries, whether they were friends, I mean, whatever the case may be. It was a very diverse and, what am I trying to say, um, very rich town for stories and, and like legacy and all that stuff. So I thought since, I think it was like last year maybe? I think it was last year now, Ugh. or earlier this year, I can't remember, but we actually got a bunch of families that are well known from the Sims franchise for Strangerville from the Sims 2, for the, the Sims 19th birthday. So that was last year, yeah. So the Smith family was one of them, and I was so, so excited to get them. So basically, this was kind of like life leading up to the Sims 2, and I want to go through kind of the family history, but basically... Pollination technician number nine, he is an alien, he is an elder alien who is now retired from his job as a pollin poll pollination technician. Oh, it's already going to be a long voiceover. And he married Jenny. So Jenny is actually his other kids. So he has other kids. They, they're not in The Sims 4, but he has two other girls. He has Noelle and Chloe, I think it is. I could be wrong. I thought I had it up in front of me, but I guess I didn't. Um, Lola, I'm sorry, Lola and Chloe singles. And their half-sister is Jenny from a, a different parent, a different mother. And Jenny ends up marrying pollination technician number nine. So she marries her half-sister's dad, which is so weird to me. It's so weird. I don't know if this was just like an oversight in production for The Sims 2, um, but it's a really weird storyline, but she marries him because she loves the color green. Like that's, that's the presumed story here is she loves green and that's probably one of the reasons why she ended up marrying him. But her and pollination technician number nine, maybe I should just call him P9. I, I don't know, but <laughs> they have two children. They have uh, Johnny and Jill. And Johnny is a teenager in The Sims 4, as well as the remake of them for The Sims, or The Sims 2, as well as the remake of them in The Sims 4. And their daughter, Jill, is a child Sim. So Johnny has green skin, but he is not, he's not an actual alien. So when you pull them from The Sims 4 gallery, he is not part of the like alien occult. He just has green skin, which is kind of funny. But in The Sims 2, at least, if my memory is serving me correctly, an alien and a human could have a child and that child could have green skin and still be considered an alien without the like the alien eyes and stuff. Like the genetics would actually mix. But now in The Sims 4, they have they have like their true form and then they also have the disguise form. So I don't know. I don't know how the genetics work. I don't play with aliens very much in The Sims 4 at all. And I didn't really play with them much in The Sims 2 either. So it's news to me. But um, yeah, that's basically their history. So Jenny, I believe it is Jenny. Yep. Jenny works as a nurse in the medical career. And when you actually load her up from The Sims 4 gallery, when you load up this family, she is in the medical career. Pollination technician number nine is actually retired. And they actually have a few skills as well. Like P9 skills in logic is max out, which is actually kind of, I don't know, unexpected for The Sims 4. Cause a lot of the families, when you loaded them up, even when the base game launched, they didn't really have any skills and they didn't have jobs and their relationships did not equate to what was alluded to in their bios. So this was actually a really pleasant surprise for me. And yeah, that was basically it. So they actually have a rivalry in The Sims 2 with the Grunt family, which is a very um, military centered family. And they don't like the Smith family because they are strange. I eat they're freaking aliens, right? Like <laughs> that, if we're gonna, we're not gonna sugarcoat it here. It's because they're freaking aliens. So the Grunt family was actually remade too for The Sims 4 
So you guys can expect me to build their home as well across the street from the Smith home here in Strangerville. And I am so, so excited to bring those storylines into The Sims 4, especially for my own save file. So I am stoked. And now I've talked through the entire exterior and we're already onto the interior. So I do use a fair amount of green in this build, but I didn't want it to be obnoxiously green. I was thinking because green is Jenny's favorite color, it all kind of made sense. But I actually kind of toned down the green a lot and I was at first a little hesitant. I was a little hesitant about the two-story home on this lot in Strangerville because a lot of the homes that are inaccessible surrounding it are just like ranch style homes. And they're not like run down or anything, but they're ranch style homes and that seems to be what is located in this area down near the town center. So you guys will have to let me know if you think this fits into this area in the world and if you think I should keep it for my save file or if I should make them a different home. I personally love this one, so I'm thinking of keeping it, but I'm still a little like not certain about the fact that it's kind of this two-story two home because it kind of resembles a lot of the Victorian homes up in the fancy pantsy neighborhood in Strangerville. So I don't know, I'm kind of on edge about it, but I can't wait to hear what you guys think. And it was so fun to build because there were so many cool things because of the personality and history of this family that I could put in this build. So there was that little like alien toy that came with Strangerville on top of the fireplace. And I put the little My Sim doll of Dr. F, he's like the scientist, on the coffee table as well. And you'll see that Johnny's room is like totally paying homage to his uh, alien roots. <laughs> um, but here we are in the little tiny dining room. Everything does work. I did play, st play test it. Oh, getting so excited, I'm stumbling over my words. But I did play test it and everything works perfectly fine even though this room is pretty tiny. But thankfully that archway kind of like opening up to the living room allows for all Sims to access all of the chairs in here. So it works perfectly and I really liked it even though it was pretty small because I liked making these corner pieces here into kind of brick columns. I thought it added some character to the build and it is the same brick color as the fire the fireplace, <laughs> the chimney, on the outside of the build as well. So I really liked that. And then throughout the house, I do kind of use like space inspired decor. So I did that rocket launch in the kitchen or in the living room, I'm messing up my rooms now. And in the dining room, there was one of just kind of like the cosmos, I guess you could say. And I thought it came out really, really nicely. I was really excited about it. And of course the stairs are a little twisty turny. Thank God they are too, because if they had to be just in the center of this home, I would not be able to fit half the room. So I'm still so excited about the fact that we can manipulate stairs. And then I add this photo wall, which again, these are the kind of like digital photo frames that came with the Moschino stuff pack. So I didn't go through and like take a bunch of pictures, but I do want to do that for my save file. I just didn't do it for the sake of the build because this family has history. So I need to get pictures like, I need to get pictures of like alien babies and stuff like that because I need to make this family feel very, very full and kind of refreshed in The Sims 4. So I'm really excited about it. And here I just put a little shelf near the front door. And I was thinking that that's probably where Jill like hangs her little purse that she might take to school and stuff like that. And Jill seems to be a pretty creative child Sim. So I kind of went down that route for her. So she has a lot more like creativity things like she has a creativity table upstairs in her room and I think that that's the route she wants to take because that is her aspiration actually too now that I remember and Johnny I don't know he oh my gosh I don't even remember what his aspiration is now in The Sims 4 I should, I should have looked this up before I before I just jumped right in but Johnny is in my opinion at least in The Sims 4 I think what he's trying to do is he wants to learn more and more about his his dad's background. Like he wants to become very, very familiar and knowledgeable about where he came from, right? Like he he is half alien. So I feel like he wants to go to 6am, which is, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, that is the alien world in The Sims 4. So I feel like he's never been. And his goal in life is to, at some point, visit where his dad came from and learn all about that side of his family. I feel like he's very interested in it. So he's very into computers and science and like space travel and stuff like that. So I feel like he actually strives to be an astronaut or a scientist. Um, but yeah, he has, I actually gave him, I gave him a fair amount of computer programming skill. He also has some video game skill because he's a teenage boy and he has a video game console in his room. And I also 
I was also thinking that he had a little bit of guitar too. Like he kind of fiddles with a few different things and I thought that that was kind of a nice idea. Kind of round him out a little bit. And now I'm just kind of wrapping up the kitchen, which of course there's no actual dining things in the kitchen here. It's all in the dining room that is separate. So I hope that was kind of a nice little way to separate the two areas. And now there is a full bathroom downstairs and a full bathroom upstairs. There are only two full bathrooms in this build and then there's three bedrooms. So everyone has like their own room. And the bathroom downstairs, very basic, very straightforward, though I did take that sink from Jungle Adventure and push it into the wall a little bit. It doesn't actually show up on the other side, which is wonderful, but that like high back to it, it always drives me crazy. I don't like it because I try to use a lot of different mirrors and they don't, they like clip into it. So I decided to merge it into the wall, which I thought was a, a decent idea. And the first thing I did when I got upstairs is work on Johnny's room. I was just really excited to dive in and decorate it to kind of bring his personality to life. So I dove into his room and at first I did make the walls white, but I ended up changing them to black because I don't know. I don't know why I do this with teenage boys rooms. I end up just going like super dark and I don't have to, definitely don't have to, but it's just kind of like what I instinctually go for. I don't know. Maybe it's it's more of like a man cave, <laughs> but it was super fun. So I kind of, I chose this bed here and I was going to change it to the one with the planets, but I didn't think the purple really suited him. Kind of clashes with his green skin when you think about it. <laughs> so I end up just giving him this swatch with the blue and then I put the little alien gnome on top of the dresser and a TV, a video game console, and that little kind of like acorn looking chair that came with Island Living. So it was kind of nice to use that item because I only use it for more rustic builds, I think. And then that little rocket ship lamp that came with, um, I think the kid stuff pack or something like that. Don't get to use it too often since his room was basically space centered. I thought it was perfect. And then I put that uh, fun movie poster there over kind of like between the dresser and the bed. And I did add some other like space themed posters and stuff like that around his room. I was going to put up some military ones from Strangerville, but I don't think that he has any interest in joining the military, uh, nor do I think he has an interest in really learning about it. I don't think Johnny sees himself as like an anomaly or a, a foreigner to, to being on earth. <laughs> like I, he belongs here. He was born here. This is his world. And he's just absolutely fascinated with the world that his dad came from. So he's like interested, but he has no desire to really be a part of the military or anything. And I do give him a desk with a laptop, a lamp, and I think I just put, I think I put a bookcase next to it as well. And I give him like a little tree frog because I thought it was cute. And I do put some other kind of like science related art decorations above his desk. Because like I said, I think he kind of wants to go down that track. I feel like his dad has been helping him hone in on like his logic skill and has been teaching him things as he's getting older and older. So he's preparing for a career, like I said, to be an astronaut or a scientist in some way, shape or form and eventually get to his father's home planet to learn more about it. But I really like how his room came out together. It was super cozy. I did kind of flip it around a few times there to, to make sure I liked how it looked at all angles. And then I move on to Jill's room and this was kind of a challenging shape. So her room ends up being kind of like cream colored woods and, and kind of bright and also very relaxing at the same time. And like I said, I give her a creativity table. So she has a nice little room. I really like it. And she also has some science projects and stuff. So I feel like she has an interest in science because I mean, her mom is in the medical career. So she's very science focused and logic focused. And her dad, of course, is an alien. So I feel like she has a little bit of that in her, but she is also trying to kind of pursue other interests because it seems like her family all in all are kind of pursuing at least similar routes career-wise. So I feel like she's trying to kind of break away from that, but not in a way of like, I'm being forced to be interested in science or anything like that. I feel like she just has no trouble following uh, her passions and what she enjoys. And she is just gonna explore all of it. Cause she's a kid and she can. And I really like her room. So it was really, really cute. And I would definitely kind of want it as a child. But yeah, I thought, <laughs> I'm just so excited about this. Like, I'm so excited that the Sims team brought back these families. Do I think that they should have been somewhat included in the pack to begin with? Or in the pack, in the game? Sure. I mean, we got the Goth family, right? They have been in every single game. Same with the Landgrab family. We've gotten them too, but then there are families like, I now I haven't checked this, but like the Alto family that I would love to see in here because they had a nice history. 
and they were like rivals with the Landgrave family. And of course, we did get the Pleasant family, uh, who I am going to build a house for eventually, <laughs> as well as the Caliente sisters. We got them and Don Lothario. So nah, I take it back. We've gotten a lot of them. But when we got Strangerville, considering what kind of world it was and like the alien weirdness and the military career being added, oh my gosh, to me, it was a total missed opportunity for the game not to launch with the Smith family and the Grunt family. So I am still very grateful that the Sims team gave us these families remade and reimagined for The Sims 4 because it is adding so much depth to Strangerville for me because initially, like, I actually love the storyline playthrough. I'm not going to ruin anything, but I do love the storyline playthrough. So if you haven't done it already, I'm not about to spoil it. But it was still missing some depth for me. Like, it, for me, it was actually too easy to get through. So that might just be me. I, that's my opinion, but that's okay. You guys, if it was harder for you guys, then it was harder for you guys. It's fine. But, like, it was super easy for me, at least. I, I was able to do it in barely a couple of hours. And then at that point, like, Strangerville was just another world to live in. Like, it, what, it didn't feel alive at that point. So I wanted there to be more families that kind of had, like, that rich history and relationships and rivalries and all that stuff. And... I can't deny the fact that nostalgia got the best of me because um, this brought me back. I remember playing this in like, so my dad had like a finished basement and that's where I had a computer. His office was like in a loft or something. I had a computer down there that I was able to use and that is where I played The Sims 2 all the time. Like I remember the cutscenes. I remember this family. I remember university like explicitly, which, all right, we're gonna divert for a second. There are rumors going around that Discover University is going to be the next Sims expansion, and that means college, okay? So that means going to university. If that is real, I'm gonna freak out. I'm gonna freak out. I'm gonna freak out in the best way possible because I am so excited, though I also have super high expectations for it because this has been long anticipated. Like, it cannot flop. In my head, I'm like, this cannot flop. Like, you, like, please, Sims team, give us everything that we have asked for. And that is, that sounds so greedy and self-centered, but it, it, I just expect that the pack to be, I expect it to be something amazing. I expect it to have, like, the aspects that we know and love from the other games. And, and not only those aspects, but enhancement to those aspects. And please don't make it dependent on the emotion system. I love the emotion system. It's cool, but I don't want all of my gameplay surrounded by that. Do you know what I mean? Like, does that make sense? Am I sounding am I sounding totally bratty and entitled? Because if I am, I'm so sorry. Like, I'm not trying to be. I just, oh, it's mainly for my excitement and I don't want it to be crushed because I think it's going to be a really cool pack and The Sims 4 brings so much that that pack could be something so, so amazing. If that is real, I'm stoked about it. But now I'm just adding some things to the front and back porches and I give them like a grill and outside dining area and a few different seating areas and stuff like that. And I love P9's office there, by the way. That's where he kind of still dabbles in things and maybe teaches Johnny some things too, which I thought was a nice idea. And then in the backyard, I think I just add a swing set and I do add a rocket and I build it for the screenshots. I had my play test sim build it. So there's a fully functional rocket so they could actually visit 6am together. But that is pretty much it for the build. I really hope you guys like this and I'll catch you next time I post a video. Bye! Still, still, we 
both think alive Yet we seem to buy Parting is difficult Greeting is just a charm 